Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Brittany. Today I have a bonbon decoration technique idea for you. Tis the season, so my bonbons are going to be red and green for the holidays with festive designs on top. But really this technique can be used anytime depending on the images that you find and what colors you decide to use. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use rubber stamps and luster dust to put cute little pictures on top of your chocolates. So let's get going. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Some red and green cocoa butter. Today I'm using pre-colored cocoa butter from Chef Rubber in the colors Jade Green and Retro Red. Chocolate of your choice. Today I'll be using Calibit White Chocolate. A polycarbonate chocolate mold. I'm going with the classic half sphere and this particular one is Grayus 3262. An airbrush setup, including your PPE, a compressor, and a spray booth. You can also paint the background on by hand, like I've demonstrated in many of my previous videos. A nice thermometer, like this Thermapro. Some good luster dusts. The better the dust, the better the result. Today I'm using my new favorites from Generay Cakes in the gold, silver, and rose gold colors. If you want 20% off of these, I have a coupon code for you guys that runs until December 15th. So this is a great time to stock up if you want to. Some rubber or silicone stamps. I found these really cute holiday stamps with festive images and this cute, simple pine tree rubber stamp. And then this sheet of pretty snowflakes. And then if you buy the silicone stamps, you'll probably also want to get some acrylic stamp blocks like these. And then of course you'll need all the other usual basic bonbon supplies, including heat gun scrapers, paper towels, parchment paper, containers, etc. The first step is always to make sure that you have a clean and polished chocolate mold. Here I'm just using a soft microfiber cloth to shine up my clean mold. Next, I'm just going to airbrush the green onto my mold in a solid, even layer. If you need help tempering cocoa butter or choosing an airbrush, check out the videos I linked in the description box. For spraying here, I used 80 PSI, max airflow and medium paint flow with my micro fan spray nozzle. Don't forget to wipe off the excess cocoa butter on a paper towel to keep things clean throughout the process. Next up is the red. For this, I used the larger plastic cup just because I was also spraying all of my YouTube chocolate box pieces. And to spray the red, I used the exact same settings as I did for the green. And for both, I did about two to three solid layers to get a nice deep color for each. Next, I temper my white chocolate to shell the bonbons. Today I used the seeding method just in a microwave safe bowl. If you want to learn more about the seeding method, check out the video in this card and the description. Now I'm going to shell, fill, and cap my bonbons. These have a red velvet cake pop filling. I thought the red color would be super pretty for some holiday bonbons. The recipe is really simple and I'll have a video on that coming out really soon.
Um, guys, something funny happened. Well, kind of funny and also scary. My shells were contracting from the mold before I capped them, even though they were just sitting at room temperature. And because this mold is a true half sphere, a couple of them twirled out while I was capping them. So I just pushed them down and was really careful and even the ones that were spinning around came out really nice, thankfully. <laughs> After 20 minutes in the fridge, it's time to unmold my favorite part. Wow, <laughs> isn't that just the perfect Christmas red? It's so pretty. And look at this holiday green. It is also so pretty and I love these two colors together. They just scream Christmas for me. So in the Amazon review for these acrylic blocks, I unfortunately read some complaints that the blocks aren't shiny like the picture. And I had to giggle because you have to remove the protective layer. <laughs> I guess if you've never purchased an acrylic product, you might not know that. So I figured I better include it in this video. So yeah, before you use your blocks, peel off the plastic from both sides. And then most of the time the silicone stamps come as little separate images, but this snowflake one came in a sheet, I guess because it's meant to stamp as one big picture. But the individual snowflakes were exactly what I was looking for. So before I can use them, I just cut them apart. So I want to start with this cute little present and to use the block all you do is stick the little stamp onto it. Sometimes I'll stamp it on the counter to make sure it's stuck on tight. And I'm going to start with the gold luster. One thing I love about this particular gold dust besides how well it works is that it comes in this little shaker container which turns out is perfect for the stamp technique. <laughs> because what I'm going to do is shake some gold onto the top onto the lid and then tap it off a bit and then use the lid like I would an ink pad by pressing the stamp onto it to pick up some gold luster dust. And once I've got a nice coat on there, I just carefully stamp it right onto the chocolate. As I stamp, I kind of press first in the center and then do a little roll carefully to be sure I touch every part of the image onto the chocolate. And it's really that easy. And look how cute that little present is. Between each stamp, you'll want to recoat the luster dust lid with gold and then just repeat the process over and over and over. And guys, get a load of this cute little Santa. <laughs> Now here you'll notice that the bigger the stamp, the harder it is to get a clean image, which of course makes sense because I'm stamping onto a curved surface. So I have to roll the stamp and the bigger the stamp is, the more I have to roll it and then you run the risk of um, moving and making things blurry or missing spots of the stamp. But if I were to use a different mold, like a square one or a bar or something with a larger flat surface area, the larger images wouldn't be a problem. I have found that the classic rubber stamp with the wooden block is a bit harder to stamp because you can't see through it to see where you're stamping. And that's one great benefit of the acrylic blocks. So one thing that you guys might be wondering while you watch this is why I am not mixing the luster dust into a paint. I often will mix lusters with lemon extract to make a paint. And in general, usually when you stamp, it's with ink, which is wet. So it kind of makes sense that you would use a paint also with this technique. 
And I have seen some people do this technique with the luster dusts mixed into a paint, but when I've tried it, I didn't get as good of results as I do when I just stamp it on dry. Plus stamping it dry is simple and requires less steps, so I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> but once again, I have to tell you, if you don't have a good luster dust, it won't work really either way. And now it's time to test out the silver. You'll notice that the silver doesn't quite pack the same punch as the gold does. It's a lot more subtle and a bit harder to work with. Here is the rose gold. Similar to the silver, I'd say it looks nice, but it is a little harder to work with and isn't quite as crisp as the gold. And one final note in case you didn't think of it, because the images are just loose luster dust stamped on top of the bonbon, be careful handling them because if you rub them, they will smear. For me, it doesn't make much of a difference because really you want to handle the chocolates as little as possible anyway to preserve the temperature and the shine. But I just thought I'd mention it so you know. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's festive and sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!